Quiet on set. Kagan. Quiet on set. Ha! Huh? Quiet. Welcome to Off the Leash. My name is Jason Kenzie. And I'm Isaac Knox. And this is a show about everything that is animal related in the news from around the world. Today in the news. There are police in Mississauga searching for a convertible white Mercedes. Now I bet you're wondering why are they searching for this Mercedes? Well, they don't really care about the car. It is what was inside the car. Everybody was excited about finding. Do you know what that was? It was the cutest, tiniest, furriest little schnauzer by the name of Sassy. That's correct. If you want to know what a schnauzer looks like, simply go to your closet and uh, pull out your mop and put it on the floor. And that's about what they look like. Well, this one looked like that because it needed an extreme haircut. Of course, the owners of the car did not see that the burglars were about to steal their vehicle. It is possible that the schnauzer didn't see the burglar either due to its very long hair covering its face. Maybe, Isaac, because these dogs are highly intelligent, that it was sick and tired of the dry dog food that it was being fed, hot-wired the car and took it off to go to the local uh, dog food uh, outlet to get some new uh, dog food. Uh, my question is that if the car was stolen by a person, I'm wondering why the schnauzer didn't uh, jump in the front and it could have uh, just, you know, sat on the burglar's lap and took a there, or perhaps uh, bit the uh, car burglars on the schnauzer. There's been an update to this story and they have found the schnauzer and the car. Uh, of course, we don't really care about the car. Uh, we care more about uh, the little dog because it was cute and cuddly. I'm wondering if, if the robbers were stealing the car, Jay, or were they planning to steal the schnauzer because apparently they didn't take either one and they dropped off the car near the same location where it was originally stolen from. Yeah, the, if they wanted to keep the car, they could have simply put the schnauzer in a box and shipped them to its rightful owners via pier later. But I'm so happy that the <laughs> schnauzer is back in one piece and the owners are extremely happy. For our next story, you may have heard of the Great Wall of China as well as the Trump Wall, which is currently being built. But you may not have heard of the Pig Wall that Denmark is building to prevent their pig population from getting infected with African swine flu from German wild boars. Now some of the boars uh, in that area are extremely aggressive, quite large, and they run rampant and they destroy farm life uh, for the cows, the horses, and they do a lot of damage. And this is something that needs to be done. This $12 million project has already begun and is scheduled to be completed by autumn 2019. It is basically a 40 mile long electric fence that prevents from boars entering Denmark through the German border. And based on the story of the three little pigs, the Denmark people are desperately trying to teach the pigs to build the wall. And they also have mentioned that they're probably going to get the pigs to pay for it as well. This fence will have slight openings on the bottom so that smaller creatures like otters and foxes may be able to still migrate between the two nations. Domestic pork production in Denmark averages about $5 billion in assets. So to have that industry at stake would be a major uh, risk to their economy. Of course, pigs are very intelligent creatures. It'll only be a matter of time before these pigs uh, learn how to get around it teaching themselves how to shovel. They go under mm -hmm. the wall. Or build a pig bridge. Surely in uh, 10 years time, the pigs will be uh, protesting with uh, graffiti and balaclavas at the fence. So if you have an issue uh, with them building this wall, uh, you can just call this hotline <laughs> down below. <laughs> if you seem to have problems uh, with this wall being built, uh, <laughs> you can call this hotline uh, down below and you can huff and you can puff and you can blow the wall down. So the next story I have, it is about a team of divers off the coast of Hawaii that came in contact with one of the world's largest great white sharks on the planet. that has ever been seen. And this shark is 20 feet long. 20 feet, that is incredible. Among these divers was this beautiful oceanographer. Ocean Ramsey was the first one to dive into the water. Now this girl is highly intelligent and she could star in the upcoming 2019 Barbie movie as Barbie. 
she does mention that the shark is possibly pregnant although personally i believe the shark was just extremely full after eating ken doll uh, she also said that's why the shark was not aggressive and of course uh, a shark that is full is probably not interested in eating that's why it was probably swimming peacefully uh, we also, in the video, we also seem to see a couple of uh, suicidal dolphins who seem to very calmly swim around the shark. Uh, one of them almost looks like it even like slaps the shark in the face a couple times right on the nose. And the shark seems to care less, which is kind of odd to see. Judging by the size of the shark, it could, probably looks like it could swallow that dolphin whole. And they may have to recast for a can now for this movie. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for joining us. I hope you like what you heard and I, I hope you like what you saw. If you uh, want to support us, subscribe and hit the bell because if not, I'm going to be sending that shark after you. We upload videos every Thursday at 6 so be sure to stay tuned for our next episode. I like it. There are links down below uh, to all the news stories that we've talked about. So remember, always support your local animal rescues. See ya. Have a good night.